increasing our trilateral defense cooperation, including sharing missile warning data in real time. We've also launched new trilateral initiatives to counter the threats posed by the DPRK, from its cybercrime and cryptocurrency money laundering to its reckless space and ballistic missile tests. When it comes to the DPRK, we are keeping our eye on the ball because it continues to represent a threat to international peace and security and to regional peace and security. Based on calculations of its flight trajectory, the ICBM class ballistic missile launched this time has a range of more than 15,000 kilometers, depending on the weight of the warhead. And in that case, it can reach anywhere in the United States. The United States and the other hostile forces have persistently committed acts of the military threat against DPRK throughout this year. They are becoming almost anti-guided and extremely dangerous until this moment in December closed year end. The ICBM launch conducted by DPRK this time is a warning countermeasure in the face of the grave situation. This notwithstanding, the United States and few countries blindly following it forcibly convened this meeting again to be recorded as a shameful one in the history of the United Nations while illegally and unlawfully taking issue with the DPRK, which exercised undeniable just and legitimate right of the sovereign state to self-defense recognized by international law, including UN Charter and equally conferred on all UN member states.